thank you very much, uh, Andrea Savarino, for uh, giving us some time about uh, this uh, wonderful first day of the EIS meeting. You were the chair of uh, the session on HIV reservoir today, and there were some interesting uh, presentations in this session, in particular on IL-7. Could you tell us a bit uh, on what was presented? Yes, IL-7 is uh, now in clinical trials as a potential uh, immune uh, adjuvant to eradicate HIV. Um, the grounds behind uh, this choice are due to the fact that uh, in the past it was shown that the IL-7 could activate the latent provirus. However, these uh, findings were could not be reproduced. And uh, what's interesting about today's presentation um, is that it emerged that uh, IL-7 uh, is uh, not only incapable of uh, reactivating HIV, but it, it may uh, expand the, the viral reservoir. However, there is a beneficial effect that might be translatable to the clinic. Uh, this effect is that it uh, indeed increases the CD4 counts. The use of IL-7 thus remains contro controversial. Another good news uh, is that one good news uh, emerging from this uh, presentation is uh, on IL-15. IL-15, although it has uh, a more limited capacity to, to increase uh, the numbers uh, of CD4 T cells, it has uh, the capacity of uh, potently reactivating the, uh, the latent provirus, and thus uh, it might become a, a good candidate for HIV eradication, probably, maybe either alone or in combination with other agents. Okay, and uh, there were some presentations about uh, heart intensification. In yes. particular, I think one uh, showing data on the proviral DNA in the gut. Do you think that uh, the discussion is now uh, finished about uh, intensification? Well, I think that uh, heart intensification might uh, be, of course, useful for uh, that portion of patients that still have a residual viral replication, but uh, an effect of uh, rotegravir on uh, proviral DNA was uh, uh, expectedly negative, of course, because uh, the only drug that has so far been shown to decrease the viral reservoir, it was uh, presented uh, at the uh, last year's uh, meeting, IAS meeting, on uh, reservoir, and it is Maraviroc. However, the mechanisms behind uh, this uh, this effect are uh, still on. Okay, and I think there was uh, one interesting new approach about the gut flora. Could you tell a little bit uh, about this? Yes, it's uh, very interesting because uh, the gut flora has uh, not been uh, studied uh, that much, especially in connection with HIV. The authors showed that uh, the gut flora, uh, some particular uh, microorganisms are, uh, can establish favorable interactions with uh, the organism because, uh, according to their theory, they can produce anti-HIV uh, anti uh, substances. However, there is also another important aspect uh, to be underlined, that is uh, the possibility for uh, those uh, microorganisms to translocate some of their microbial products, thus increasing immune activation. This is uh, an open field that deserves uh, further investigation. Okay. Thank you very much, Andrea, Thank and you, I Alan. think uh, it will interest uh, our readers uh, as soon as we can post uh, this video uh, next week uh, on the website. Thank, Thank you, you so very much. much.